Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are going to be going through the proportionality theorem, right? So in the video tutorial, I'll be taking you guys through what is the proportionality theorem. I'll be taking you guys through the proof of the proportionality theorem and we'll also be going through one example where I show you how you are supposed to apply the proportionality theorem in questions that you might be given in your tests or in your exam. Right. So before we get started with the video tutorial, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel guys. Please make sure that you click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Please make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up because it really helps the channel get to more learners that are struggling with the math mathematics or even learners that want to better their mathematics marks right so guys please make sure that you do that for me and also guys another thing that i love saying is that please make sure that you have your notepad with you an exam pad with you and you take down the notes that i am giving to you guys because they will really 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 help you guys in um approaching your questions they will really help you guys in just understanding everything that um is going on with the proportionality theorem guys please make sure that you take down each and every note that i will be giving to you guys All right so without any further ado let us get started with the video tutorial so like i mentioned guys on today's video tutorial we are going to be going through the proportionality theorem i'll be taking you through what is the proportionality theorem what is that right i'll be giving you guys a definition of that and i'll also be proving the proportionality theorem to you guys i'll be showing you the proof right and i think they also asked this guy uh, the ask for the proof of the proportionality theorem in your exams as well so please make sure you take down notes and you learn this proof off by heart because they like asking for the proof of the proportionality theorem and also i'll be taking you guys through a example that will help you just apply everything that i would have taught you guys right so let us get started guys so what is the proportionality theorem all right guys so the proportionality theorem states that right okay so let's have a look at what the proportionality theorem says right it says that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, then that line divides the other two sides in the same proportion, right? So what does this mean? Let us use a diagram to understand what this is telling us, right? So if you have a triangle, right, that is our triangle there, right? That is our triangle there, right? And we have a line that is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle, right? So that is our line there right that red line that i've just drawn parallel to to this line in the triangle right so this theorem is saying that this line divides the other two sides right in the same proportion right so how would this mean what would this mean in terms of the sides right what would this mean in terms of sides right so if this is my triangle a b c right and the parallel line that we draw is called DE, right? This theorem says that, this theorem states that AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. If you draw triangle ABC, right, the proportionality theorem that says that if you draw a parallel line to this triangle, right this parallel line then divides the two sides right into into the same proportion right so ad over db is going to be equal to ae over ec all right guys so that is basically the definition of the proportionality theorem right but then how how do we prove this how would you prove proportionality theorem if you guys were asked to prove it in a test or in an exam let's have a look all right guys so to prove the proportionality theorem the first thing you'd have to do is obviously draw your triangle right so we want to have a triangle there okay so that is our triangle a b c 
right and with the proportionality theorem guys remember it says that if you draw a parallel line right or if you draw a line that is parallel to the other side of this triangle then it divides the other two sides in the same proportion right so this line that i've just drawn we'll call it line de right and this line is parallel to our line bc right so now what do we do right what is our first step in proving this theorem right so guys the first thing that i have to tell you guys again that i have to reiterate is that we are trying to prove that ad over db is equal to ae over ec right so that is what we're trying to prove right so i'm going to take you guys through the step-by-step -step approach that'll help you prove that theorem right so the first thing guys that you'll have to do is you'll have to draw construction lines right so with the construction lines you draw a line that is perpendicular to our ae and you'll draw another line that is perpendicular to our ad so let's have a look at that okay and like i mentioned we draw another line that is perpendicular to your ad okay so the line that we've drawn that is perpendicular to your ae is called the altitude right so that is the line a that is perpendicular to our ae it's our altitude and we'll call that line k okay and the line that we've drawn that is perpendicular to our ad that is also the altitude or the height right and then we want to also call that the line h and then from here guys you will be required to join dc and be so you're going to join dc and be okay and then from here guys we are simply going to calculate the areas of all these triangles right so which triangles am i talking about right which triangles am i talking about we are going to calculate the area of triangle a d e right we're going to calculate the area of triangle c d e and we're also going to calculate the area of triangle b b d e right we all agree that the top triangle is just one triangle right we just have one triangle at the top and we agree that here at the bottom guys we have divided our bottom into two triangles which is triangle d c e and triangle d b c so we are going to now be calculating the areas of these triangles. All right, guys. And then from here, we have this diagram, right? So this diagram, we basically have um, drawn the perpendicular heights for our triangle ADE, right? And there's two perpendicular heights for this triangle, right? And we've also have a perpendicular height for our triangle DBE. And we also have our perpendicular height for triangle D, C, and E, right? So now once we've drawn these construction lines, what is the next step, right? Guys, it's important to realize that we are trying to prove that your AD over your DB is equal to AE over your EC, right? So this is what we are trying to prove, right? This is what we're trying to prove, right? So now how do we go about proving this, right? Guys, if we calculate the area of the first triangle that is at the top using the H as our perpendicular height, right? So if we calculate the area of triangle ADE, right? Right? And use AD as our base, right? And we also calculate the area of this triangle here, DBE, right and also use h as our perpendicular height then we'll be able to prove that ad over de side of this equation right so we're trying to prove the left hand side of the equation for the proportionality theorem that is basically what i'm going to be showing you guys right now right so like i said right we're going to be calculating the area of our triangle ade right all over the area of our triangle D, B, E, right? How do we calculate the area of a triangle, right? So if we go to the top to calculate the area of our triangle A, D, E, A, D, E, what do you do? You use half the base, right? So what is half the base? If we want to focus on our base, our A, D as our base, right? 
What is that perpendicular height from that base? It's H, right? So we're going to say half and the base is AD multiplied by the perpendicular height of H all over, right? Let's go to the bottom triangle, right? So with the bottom triangle, okay, what would our perpendicular height be? We already know that it's going to be the base, that is DB, and our perpendicular height is going to be that H there. Why am I saying that the H is going to be the perpendicular height and not K? Why am I saying this H, this is H and not K, right? So if you see here, this height here is parallel to that height there. So that is the same height, right? So therefore, the height for our DB is also going to be H, okay? So it's going to be half DB multiplied by that perpendicular height there. Let me just highlight what is going on here, right? That height there and that height there are parallel. That, that is why I'm using the same height or the same altitude, which is H, right? And then from here, guys, what do you see is going on? From here, the halves and the half, the half and the half will cancel. And you'll, the H and the H will also cancel, okay? And you'll be left with AD over DB, right? So from here, guys, we've already proven the left-hand side of our theorem. Can you see that? So it's going to be AD over DB, right? So already done with one aspect of this proof. And let us go to the right-hand side. How do you prove the right-hand side? Same thing, guys. We're going to calculate the area of our triangle ADE. Someone might be asking, why are we calculating the area of this triangle again? Like, we've just calculated the area. Why are we calculating the area again? We're calculating the area again because we've got two heights that we've drawn on this triangle, right? We've got AE as our base, we've got AD as our base, right? And because we're trying to prove the right-hand side of this formula that says AE, highlighting AE, putting emphasis on AE over EC, right? We need to have now have a formula or another formula for our triangle ADE, which uses AE as our base, right? And our K as our perpendicular height okay so now let us calculate the area of this triangle again like i said we're going to use ae as our base right so half ae multiplied by our perpendicular height so from our base ae right our perpendicular height is our k so we're going to multiply it by that k right all over what is our area of our triangle ebc right we're going to be focusing on triangle ebc why are we focusing on triangle ebc it's because you're trying to prove that ec part there the bottom right so it has to be that ebc triangle ebc so if you calculate the area of our triangle ebc bc that is also going to be equal to half what is our base? It has to be EC, because that is what we want to be left with at the end, multiplied by what is our perpendicular height. Going back to what I said to you guys about the parallel heights here. Here we can see that the perpendicular height for EC is K. Here we can see that the perpendicular height for, I mean, for AC, sorry, the perpendicular height for AC is K, and the perpendicular height for EC will also be K, why am I saying that, guys? Because they are parallel. I've just highlighted them there with green to show you that those two lines are parallel to each other. Therefore, the perpendicular height for EC is also K, right? So we're going to put the K there, right? And then from here, guys, what are we noticing? What is happening? The half and the half cancel, right? The half and the half cancel, the K and the K cancel. And you'll be left with AE over EC, which is what we're trying to prove on the right-hand side, right? And we've proven that, right? So we're going to write that down, AE over EC. Then from here, guys, this is the part where we are super excited because here we have basically proven the proportionality theorem that states that AD over, over D. B is equal to AE 
over EC. Right? I forgot to put the C there. Okay, we have basically proven the proportionality theorem. Right? So just a quick recap, guys, of what I have done here. Right? Just a quick, 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 quick recap is that guys you basically draw your triangle right and with the triangle with the proportionality theorem you have to have a parallel line or a line that is parallel to one of the sides right so in this case it was our line de that was parallel to our line bc then from there guys you need to know that you need to draw altitudes or heights perpendicular heights to the base right and then we saw that okay with our um, triangle ADC, we need to have two perpendicular heights, right? Because we've got AD and AE here, right? So there has to be a perpendicular height to our line AD. There has to be a perpendicular height to our line AE, right? And then from here, guys, you also draw a line joining D or C. You also draw another line jo uh, joining E and B. And then from here, we are basically going to try and prove the left-hand side of our proportionality theorem and also try and prove the right hand side of our proportionality theorem right how do you prove the left hand side of our proportionality theorem we basically take the area of a d e right and the area of d b e to prove that why am i choosing those areas in particular right because we want to prove that a d that ad over db we're trying to prove that so we need to focus on that ade and we also need to focus on the side on the triangle that has db right so that is basically what i done here and then i said it's half ad multiplied by the perpendicular height h there and as well with the db i said half db multiplied by the perpendicular height and then it was the question that was raised also in my head was why must I make this H and not K? It's because of that is parallel to that H. Therefore, that is also H, right? And then we went on to prove the right-hand side of the proportionality theorem. To prove the right-hand side, guys, we're trying to prove that AD, that we're trying to prove AE over EC, right? So we work with the top triangle again. We're going to use now for this example, the base of AE and the perpendicular height of K, which is what we did. And we also worked with the triangle DEC, right? Why are we working with the triangle DEC in this case? Because we're trying to prove that EC aspect, right? So we have to have an EC in the equation, right? And we found that half EC multiplied by K. And then we asked that question, why, are, why am I saying it's K and not H? Because the K is parallel to this line here for your EC is parallel to that line there which is k right that is why we use k here and we proved that ae over ec and then from there guys i told you that we would have proven our proportionality theorem simple as that it's a very nice theorem to prove and i hope that i made it very simple for you guys to understand now guys let us just have a look at an example Okay, I think I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys, with just proving the proportionality theorem. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that I made it easy for you guys to prove the proportionality theorem. The next video that will be coming up, I'll be showing you guys an example where we apply the proportionality theorem to help us solve the questions that are asked, right? So please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. You click, you also make sure that you click on the notification about so that you get notified every time i upload a new video please like this video guys and also share the video tutorials with your friends that are doing pure mathematics all right guys so and that is it for today's video and i'll see you guys on my next upload and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.